Yo, what is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And today I will be showing you how to install and play Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. It's the same if you have Pikachu, but in this case I'm doing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Which the download link will also be in the description. So first you need Yuzu emulator. So you click download, and you'll get a zip file. It will say Yuzu install exe so you double click it install the version you want uh, I'm gonna install both of them just to see what happens okay so it says use a canary nightly you can find it in your Windows 10 bar anyways after that you can delete the installer look for the word yuzu go to a maintenance tool and click update so both your versions will be up to date then what i do is i find canary or nightly or both and i just copy the shortcuts to my desktop okay so the next thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna open canary and it will say this uh the following are missing from your configuration so you need keys all right you first select the game directory and in my case it's desktop because my games are here and in configure i use dark mode just because i like it search subdirectories for games very important enable cpu uh, jit you can change this however you want now for system you can disable or uncheck this audio stretching box because it's super annoying you can make your own profile i'm just going to keep the standard one in this case limit speed percent on 100 percent check this box for opengl compatibility use disk shader cache use asynchronous gpu emulation not the accurate one because it's slow as it already says and force 30 fps mode because in this case we're gonna play pokemon let's go and it's a 30 fps game so for controls you go to custom and you click configure and then player one i'm gonna do pro controller i'm gonna configure it so in my case i have a xbox controller you want to hold your trigger before clicking this button and release the trigger until it says 2 plus instead of 2 minus and uh, 5 minus because otherwise it will glitch. So after you've done all this, you click OK. Use docked mode, uh, click OK again and then you're done for the settings. So now it might search for your games as it just did with me. But because we don't have titles yet, it won't see the games. Now to fix that, we open the user folder, go to keys, and it will say auto-generated. You're going to delete that one, and you're going to insert the title and prod.keys file. Now I'm going to click out of this, go back to Yuzu, and as you can see, the icons are there. Uh, if they are gray, they are still loading, and now they got color, and now they're ready to play. I already made a video on Super Mario Odyssey. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is still on the list. Same with Breath of the Wild. But for Pokemon Let's Go, you need a save data file. And it literally is called save data. Now to implement this, you right click on the game. You choose open save data location. Choose the account that you're playing with. Click OK and you'll go to the folder and you just drag the save data.bin file in there and now you just double click the game it will say launching for me it's tripping right now so i'm gonna go try nightly nightly drive hard drive mustang 